Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 27th, 2024. The United States is better than Russia. We should all agree on that. But for anyone who values freedom of speech, they should hands down understand that Russia is a country we do not want to value, shouldn't look up to, and in no way idolize. The United States, we still have work to do, sure, but let's just take a look at how we treated Julian Assange, check out yesterday's episode for that, with how Russia is treating Ivan Gershevich. Ivan is a Wall Street Journal reporter who has been jailed since March 2023, and his trial has just begun in Russia over charges that he spied on Russian defense contractors for the U.S. This trial was closed door. It didn't allow U.S. journalists to be present for the entire thing, just a small section up front to see how he's doing. To say that it's pretty likely Ivan will be found guilty, will have always been found guilty, regardless of the evidence, is, well, hard not to understate. If Ivan walks out of there and heads back to the U.S. found not guilty of any crime, I'd be flabbergasted. With surprise. Flabbergasted. So far, no evidence has been presented to the United States for his charges, and Russia convicts 99% of their defendants. So, if he's found guilty, or I should say when he's found guilty, he'll face up to 20 years imprisonment. Today is the presidential debate. Biden and Trump face off against one another. Biden having holed himself up to prepare as if any of Trump's followers were likely to change sides because Biden has some great facts prepared. And Trump did absolutely no preparation, but it isn't like Biden supporters were going to listen to anything he has to say. So all in all, I'm going to spend a few hours wasting my time watching these two box it out with words. And, well, see if anyone says or acts in a surprising way. Trump is definitely going to attack Biden's mental health, bring up Afghanistan, inflation, gas prices, and brag about how he had been in charge, Russia wouldn't be taking over the world. My prediction for Biden is he'll attack Trump on the losers and suckers quote, COVID deaths, then talk about his accomplishments with the Inflation Reduction Act, Ukraine war, and more. I'm glad there will be a mute button also to prevent crosstalk, but it should make for a lot less lively of a debate. In other news, it was thought we all might just die today from an asteroid zooming past us. In space terms, an asteroid barely missed us some 4 million miles out. And since it missed, its little cousin is going to try and hit us as well, nearly missing us, hopefully, by less than the distance we are from the moon. That's a lot closer. If you've seen the movie where the moon comes crashing to Earth, you know we're only one feature-length movie away from total annihilation. Now on to something less serious. What mass shootings happened yesterday? In Milwaukee, Wisconsin at 5912 West Oklahoma Avenue, which is a BP gas station, four people were injured. Two of them, sadly, were children, four, year old, four years old and nine. The police have indicated that the shooting was not random, they believe it was targeted, and the children are expected to recover, but the adults who were the likely targets suffered life-threatening injuries. And let's end on a controversial topic. If your toilet paper roll rests on a dispenser up against the wall, by all things holy, you should have the roll facing away from the wall. That way there's less risk of your toilet paper rubbing up against, up against your nasty wall. Yes. It does make it easier for cats to demolish your butt paper, but there are ways to stop that. I guarantee you didn't think to wash your bathroom wall behind your TP until I just mentioned it. So, yeah, stop being gross. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.